Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and welcome to the Freak Show, everybody. Guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, you name it, you're welcome here. This is episode 120 of my Let's Play of XCOM Long War, and in the previous episode, I did some dumb things, got some people hurt. It's okay. It's okay, there's still a UFO that's Contact floating around. Detected. I doubt he can kill that. Huh. Like, do I really want to wound him again for, like, another two weeks or something? Or just let this go? I think I'm going to let it go. Sorry, guys. I know. You expect more out of me. I expect more out of me as well. Nope, something's popping up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, buddy. I know. Ooh, yes. I will take 101 dollars. Yeah. Let's see here. Um... There are a few things I still wanted to do, and I'm not sure if I can do that. I really need to launch a satellite there. And despite how much, what, what's the, what's the, it's the 17th. Um, eh, yeah, I'm going to launch a satellite one. I'm going to send it to China. Let them stay in the fold. Sure. Satellite launched. Yay, we'll get one more soon. I think I'm going to transfer one of my members right now as well. View aircraft list. Um, I think I'll probably send Spoiler over there, and maybe I'll send the Lieutenant. Why not? Alright, we'll transfer Spoiler down here. And we'll transfer the lieutenant. It sucks, but it is simply what it is. And let's hope for the best with all of that. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll see. So we're going to be without, well, a way of defending ourselves for at least five days. And it's still, he's not going to be the best of the best of the best at doing it. But we'll, we'll hope. We'll hope it actually turns out okay. UFO tracking should be pretty soon here. Hey, Datron's returned to us. And, uh, let's carry on. I think I wanted... See, I'm torn right now. There's a few things that I actually want to do. New engineers arrived this morning, and I don't know... We're always glad to have more help down here. I don't know the best way to go about this. Like, I want to get more Aegis armor up. Like, I feel like that's going to be... I should start phasing out more of the Flanks armor and get more of the Aegis armor up right now. We have two... Plus three carapace, so that's five out of the eight, and we have four phalanx, so technically I have one extra phalanx that I don't need. Usually we're sending an MEC on the runs, so technically that's two I don't need, but let's get rid of the one and hope that's going to be okay. Oh, we have some damaged stuff. That's at least good. That should help me with the transactions there. I do need to get, get moving on some of the other things as well. I realize, guys, like... Um, Oh, what is it called? Some of the foundry projects for my aircraft, because my aircraft are kind of getting destroyed horribly awful. And it's not fun. So let's see if I can't figure out where the phalanx armor is. There it is. Alright, we'll sell one more of those. And we'll go back to engineering. We will build... I See, I kind of want to build another shotgun, too. I'm, like, sort of torn here. I think I'm going to go with one more of the Aegis armor. Submit the order, and then I'm going to go take a look. How much do I need for the shotgun? The shotgun, the scatter blaster. I need 198, so I'm going to have to wait on that one for sure. Okay. Well, let's see. How many more satellites do we have coming in? We have two, right? Yeah, five days and 11 days out. Uh, the Aegis armor will be about eight days out. And recoilless rifle in three, which should improve our... Uh, hmm. Just gonna ignore it, buddy. UFO 100. Commander, our failure to respond to the latest UFO contact is sure to displease the council. Okay. Uh oh. One of our top priorities is to maintain satellite coverage over the council's member nations. Yeah, I can't really do anything about it. Here we go. All right, there's the abduction Commander, site. Let's go and. We're receiving Ooh. several urgent requests for assistance. There are Good. Let's go murder. This should be should be easy. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of want to send her in so she gets a little bit better off. I'm going to try to send some of our easier uh, easier in the eyes. No, uh, lighter um, gunners to get them a little bit more experience. Uh, don't need you. Don't really need you. I might keep you around. Uh, I'm not going to send Crash in. I'm not going to send... You know what? I'll, I'll keep Tack. It's 
fine. Alright, so right now we basically have our MEC and our Assault. We have a lot to fill in here, so let's start getting that going here. Um, Echoem can lead us. We'll let him continue his growing. I think that'll be just fine. Um, in addition to that, let's see. Gunner, gunner, gunner. One day... Let's send a Rocketeer in. Nah, we're not going to send a Rocketeer in. We'll send Michelle in. I think that's totally fine. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, infantry, infantry, infantry. They're all actually fairly good. We'll send Pastel de Congo in. Get him a little bit more uh, medicized and able to do stuff. Because a good medic is, well, it's always, always, always needed. Uh, Mr. Updown 66, no thank you. I think Gundy Chow got taken out. Rocknar, we'll send Rocknar in. So there we go, double gunner going. Sniper, double gunner, medic, mech. Uh, assault. So I want an infantry and a scout, I guess. I uh, could send Murphy's Law, but Murphy's Law is already kind of a boss. So let's send... Do we even have a scout? Uh, Ivy St. Nick. Let's send Ivy St. Nick. And let's send... We wanted a infantry. Who's one of our lower end infantry? Do we have anybody who's real, real low? No. Alright, um, Datrin, you're one of the lower ones. We'll send you in. There we go. I like it overall. I think that's going to work out just fine. Alright, we're going to accept that. We're going to load everybody up and out. I'm going to move my mic just a little bit, guys. It's a little further over to the side. So if there are any loud, horrible, creaking sounds or anything of that nature, I do apologize right now. I would say in advance, but that's not really the case. Alright, there we go. The kinetic strike module, maybe I'll actually be able to utilize it this time. We'll see. We'll see. Not the greatest movement, I guess, is the biggest issue. We'll be okay, though. We'll be okay. Alright. So she's set. We'll get Ekum over here loaded out with the proper equipment. Ekum has such low hit points. I'm going to give him a carapace armor this time around. That's. I mean, he doesn't have the best movement either. But I think he'll be okay with what he's got. In theory. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe he won't be okay. I don't know. Alright, yeah, 13 minus 2, 11, eh, whatever. He's got a Sid Myrian head, it's totally fine. He can sit there with his little ugly face out, that's, that's perfectly fine. Love you, Sid Myers, what's going on? Alright, so, onward we go. We're gonna give you the carapace armor as well, with the, the Gatling Pulsar. Actually, you're the corporal. You get the Gauss. You get the Gauss. You don't get the best of the best of the best. You get the second best of the best of the best. You are one of the Flanks armor users. In addition, you will be getting... Where's the Gauss rifle? We don't have it, huh? Okay. Laser rifle it is. In addition, that's it. Onward to you. Rocknar, you're... Ooh, you're both corporals. Alright, well, I guess it didn't matter. Well, aren't you the lucky corporal? There you go. Sorry, Michelle. The lucky corporal gets to go. Okay, so Datron actually is rocking the Gauss. I'll have to go and switch that right now, actually. Um, gonna throw you down to the Pulse Rifle. I'm actually okay with all those things. Yeah, I think we'll, sit, we'll stick with that. That's totally okay with me. Uh, Ivy St. Nick, you. I'm gonna get the Aegis Armor. We're gonna give you the Scatter Laser. You will get your pistol. It will be sweet, sweet, nice. And we're going to give you an arc thrower. I'll see if I can't get close enough to actually land a capture this time. We have some decent armor to tank up, like, one shot. And it might be enough for us to actually get a capture. So I'm going to hope for it. I'm going to hope for it. I'm not going to be super, super, uh, I don't know, hopeful. But I'm going to hope for it. Alright, and that means that our medic is going to swap over become metasized down to the Gauss rifle. Alright, I think everybody is set, ready to go. Do we have at least one? Yeah, we have at least one battle scanner and I think that's it. Our troop is ready. And we're gonna launch this bad boy. I hope that it all pans out. The abduction sites seem to have very, very little alien activity, mission, so I'm not sure what they were doing. We're heading wow, to South Africa. I guess I took really long uh, loading out my people. Oh, yay, this map. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Mm. Solid copy, Big Sky. 
Strike one is clear to engage. All right, let's see. Well, like this, I can send the medic up first. Why not? To the front lines. Nothing. All right. Well, that's okay. Uh, Ragnar Smith. I'll send you in a minute. Let's see here. We'll get Saint Nick over here. There now. Take a peek around the corner. Nothing doing. All right. We'll send you up a little bit further. And still nothing doing. Okay. Kind of wish there was like a platform I could send Ekum up on top of right there. Like I wouldn't mind getting him all the way over here to be honest. In fact, I might even do that. But it also might get me killed. I mean, it's it's one of those catch-22, might be good, might be terrible situations. I'm going to send Face Tank right up in there, I think. She's got a tremendously huge amount of health right now, so I'm pretty excited by that. She shouldn't die, which is always good. You do not want your Face Tanks to die. That means they're not doing their job very well. You need them to tank stuff with their face. If they're not able to do that, well, what what good are they, really? I mean, what good are they, really? All right, Ragnar is going to move up Roll here. Out. Hopefully not too far forward. Enemies it might be. It is. Oh, boy. And it's a tough one to deal with, too. We might be okay. We might be okay. All right, uh, Vassar... I guess we'll send Vassar over here. Now, who does it leave us with? A double down Totatra? Okay. And go here, and then I should have a shot on at least something. 65% is not great, but we'll take it, and we'll hit it, and we didn't get a kill. This unfortunate attack can do something, though I don't think anything that he's going to do is going to be super useful. I kind of want to move, but at the same time, I think that's a mistake, so we're going to hope Rocknar survives the fallout here. Perhaps a focus face tank because she is not behind any cover. If that's the case, I think we'll be okay. As long as we don't get another group, I think we'll be fine. It depends. Will this guy shoot twice? Will he move once? Who does he fire on? I mean, there's a lot of, like, X factors right now that I'm not 100% certain about. That's going to be mildly annoying. That actually hurt pretty bad. Normally, that only does, like, one damage. So is he going to move? He should move. He is. Now, is he going to focus space tank, or is he going to go after Rachnar? Let's hope he goes after... Uh-oh. Grenade? Nope. Oh, he missed. Well, that's good, then. That's actually exceptionally good. All right, so... What does that mean for us? First thing it means is... Where are you? There you are. We need to do a little bit of damage immediately. Oh, my gosh. What in the world is going on with you right now? Okay, well, we're not going to start with you, since you, for whatever reason, have the worst aim in the history of mankind. Yeah! Double down Datron over here doing double down and stuff and junk. The cue ball does some... Wow! Double 65... Triple 65% hits. That is impressive. I'm not going to lie. That's, like, really, really super impressive. Alright, let's take a look over here. Our sniper should have a shot. I don't know why we don't have the shot on that guy, but we don't. Hmm. All right, well, let's take the shot on that guy, then. Boom, down he goes. All right, so far I'm liking this. Um, I'm going to move here. I doubt we'll actually hit, but maybe. Also, no idea why I don't have aim uh, the shot on the other guy. Well, whatever, we'll take it. Oh, got hollow targeting on that, too. It's sort of impressive. Okay. Still 50%. Well, whatever. I'm going to throw it out there. Maybe we land it. Nope. Totally missed. Pretty unfortunate. Yes, Alright. Face tank can definitely move forward. We will way. do so. Okay. And 91%. That is a pretty darn good percent chance to hit. And there it is. Landed beautifully, I might add. Alright. We have Tack. We have Congo. And we have Rachnar. We're going to have Rachnar try to finish this up. And, yeah, that didn't happen. Alright, well, it looks like Tack is going to have to be the one to bring it home. Alright, what are we looking at here? A 99% chance to own him, so let's take it. I like it. It's sweet, sweet, nice style. Explodey bits everywhere. Nobody really got hurt, which is fantastic for that. Um, can't quite close enough to throw the heal. But I should, with a little bit of luck, land this and kill him off. Very good. 
And that leaves us with one individual remaining from the original group here. I'm pretty happy about that. He's Yeah, he's gonna flee more than likely. I gotta say, I'm not sure why... Oh, oh, okay. Uh, what I was going to say is I'm not entirely certain why... Everybody has such a bad aim right now. Like, 50% shouldn't have... Eh, I don't know. Maybe they just have bad aim. Right. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Let's see if Rocknar can actually land this shot. 83%, I like that. Take it, and good day, sir. Well done, you missed completely. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. Alright, I don't think we have the shot with Ekum. We might, but I highly doubt it. Let's see what Ekum has to say. Ekum's like, yeah, no, I don't have that shot, sorry. I'm gonna try to go here, it should give me the shot. Maybe I don't have squad sight with him. Like, I should be able to see that guy, right? Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, I'm scared. That's not actually where I clicked, but okay, we'll take it, I guess. Back here. I'll move up with uh, double down Datrin here. We'll reload. Uh, who else do we have? We have Blitz. And we have. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Contact. Oh, and we're gonna have more fun. Super cool. I think we'll be okay. Alright, 91% chance. We said, well, it's not going to be enough to kill, so I don't know why I'm getting all excited, but yeah. That happened. Um, if I move there, is that a good idea or a bad idea? Or what kind of idea is that? I don't know. I think I'm just going to run over here. I'm going to trigger the Overwatch, probably. Yep, there it is. And he missed. Yay for missing! On the enemy side. It's really bad when we miss, but it's good when the enemy does. Alright, what are we looking at? 100%, 72%, 56%, 41 What do we have with this? Not enough to really cover anything. And what about Tack? Tack's got some skills he can he can use. Um, I'm on it, Commander. Let's send Tack over here. And what do we have? Let's get rid of you. See ya! Get wrecked. Alright, down he goes. Ooh, our medic can actually reload. And I will do so. And... Do I want to overwatch? I think the little dude's going to move first anyway. So, let's just shoot him now. Down he goes. If the big robot comes over here, we're going to try to punch him. Hope he does come a little bit closer. Good. So he's going to at least move and then shoot. So... Oh, that actually worried me a little bit there. Not sure why that was the target of opportunity there for the enemy, but okay. I mean, there's a ginormous robot right next to us. Uh, oh, Tax, are you okay, buddy? Yeah, you're okay. Minor damage from the grenade. And tax cover still intact. <laughs> it's not really that funny, but it was a little humor. It was a little funny. It was a little funny. All right, let's see. We can move here. Headed there now. We're going to trigger the overwatch, and hopefully nothing else. I'm all right. We're going to continue to play forward here. Super duper aggressive, because that's how we roll. 77%, we said, oh, don't get wrecked. Not enough. It's so, okay. All right, Ekum's got a shot finally. Let's see, what is he going to do with that shot? He says, you know what? I feel, I feel pretty good. I'm going to show you guys that I am the best sniper alive, and boom. Get handled. And there it goes. That guy is now completely toasted. As opposed to partially toasted, you know. Completely toasted. Alright, what do we have here? We have a 65% Datrin saying, what? Aw, oh, you hit so many of them. You hit so many of them. Okay, so we're going to give this a shot now. I'm going to move right up on top of him, and then I'm going to Hadouken Dragon Uppercut this guy right in the mouth. Sure you can... Oh, I aimed this thing. Okay. Sure you can. That's it? That was the weakest attack I've ever seen. Why are people saying that's so good? It's awful. That was terrible. What the heck, guys? What the heck? Hey, my gosh. You're going to love it so much. That did like no... I could have shot him and done more damage. What the heck? 
All right, whatever. All right, um, rock door. There we go. And of course, we got this handled either way. But still, yeah, that was that was weak sauce, guys. I don't know what you've been smoking, but that was definitely not impressive. Yep, no longer. That's gonna blow up and hurt her slightly. No, actually, I don't think they do blow up. Well, that was pretty lame, but I'll take it. I mean, eh. So yeah, kinetic strike module, not that impressive. Not that imp maybe it doesn't work well with heavily armored units. I don't know, but I gotta say, for my first time effectively using it, it wasn't very We're effective. Not leaving any question as to our ability to fight the alien threat. This is true. Excellent work all around. Commander. Thank you, thank you. All right, we got Lance Corporal Ivy Saint Nick promoted to non Lance Corporal. He's just a corporal. He's left his lance behind. I like that. I do battle scanner on him. I don't. I don't like that necessarily. Um. I don't know what I go with with him. I think I still do flushing shot. Also, Ivy Saint Nick has very, very low hit points. That is a bit concerning. Um, yeah, we'll do flush. Why not? Okay, so there we go. Oh, 65, 63, 52. Eh, eh, there's some competition going on there. Amongst the highest. Amongst the highest, okay. Okay, we can manage it. Well, that was a really fast mission. Panic has decreased, and we got 80 bucks. Remember, I like 80 bucks. We will be watching. You will be watching, but to what end, right, buddy? To what end? All right, let's see here. What can we do with the gray market at this point? Um, scatter blaster, I want to keep. Scatter laser, I don't want to keep. But I feel like if we... I might be able to get away with selling it. I think I can. So I'll sell that. I'm going to try to sell some other stuff as well. Uh, we have a bunch of muton corpses. Let's send it down to 20. And a couple drone wrecks. We'll send down to 30. We'll complete the transaction. I think we're actually just short still. Just a little bit shorter where we need to be. It's kind of funny. We have a lot of seeker wrecks. How did I miss all of those? Let's drop that down to 50. There we go. Complete the transaction. And now we can actually go get our other scatter blaster. Up to a snuff. And then we'll be like, yeah. There it is. And we'll manufacture that. It will take us nine days to complete. Uh, the scouts that we'll employ in the meantime will be like Murphy's Law, who doesn't use the extra shotgun. So, should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, uh, mutant corpses for scientists. Eh, I don't care. Sure, go for it. We can always get more. We can always get more. Alright, a very large... Uh-oh. What does that mean? Uh, does that mean it's gonna land on something I'm not gonna want it to? Commander, the council oh, isn't going terror. to be happy about this. We need to protect our satellites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop babbling. Coverage. Either way, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I just kind of wanted to get a little bit more to see what was up next. Apparently, a terror mission is up next, and it's in Beijing. So, we need to hand. That sucks, though. That sucks so bad because if we take a look, well. Oh, we already launched a satellite. Yeah, that sucks really bad. <laughs> like, really, really bad. Okay, so, ideally, what was going to happen was... See, well, that's so... Uh, that, uh, sorry, guys. I, I'm Alright, so here's why I'm so upset with this. Just so you guys know, so you understand. We just put the satellite up over China. I don't actually think it's even there yet. Maybe we'll get another boost once it is there. But it's a terror mission. Chances are at least one person is going to die. If anybody dies in the terror mission, it's going to increase the panic in all of, I guess, Asia. And more specifically in China. So, yeah, there's a pretty good chance we'll still end up losing China even though we just launched the satellite. I don't know what that's going to do, but it sucks. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining me here at The Freak Show, and I will catch you guys tomorrow with more XCOM Long War. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.